So Gary and John, I'm not going to spend all morning on this, but Gary and John went to the Bahamas for an appearance this weekend. And then it was like, Gary didn't want to go in the worst way because he knew John would be following him around. And Gary came in this morning and said, you know what? I had a great time with John in the Bahamas, but I'm sure. I said, Gary, your impression is you guys had a great time. John took notes. Howard, it was a healing weekend. We got along great. I ended up leaving on Sunday loving John more than ever, so now John, go. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin it. No, no, no. I actually, no, but get, but, I, have, I don't have any stories. Yeah, well, well so I Gary told me Gary. some stories. Yeah, he has more about me than I have about him. Yeah, first of all, this, this, this makes me furious. What? So John gets to the airport. <laughs> he forgets his passport. And his wife has <sighs> to bring the, pa- has to drive down no, no. to. I didn't forget it. I didn't think you needed one. Well, what's the well, difference? I mean, how do you not know that the Bahamas because is, is not be, part of this country? There was a time where you didn't have to have one when you went to the no, Bahamas. No, no, What never. time was you that? You always had to have proof of citizenship to go to the Bahamas. You could have had a birth certificate. Well, I had my driver's license. That's not Dude. proof of uh, Why are you so stupid? Citizenship. Well, you see, you, see, I would have been furious. I mean, I just would have Gary, taken a... Gary, could be honest. You know, I got to tell you something. The night before we left, my wife goes, do we need our passports? And I go, probably not. In the meantime, I didn't even look at the paperwork. It says, Did you have your passport? I had it. Yeah, so you had it. But it was lucky I had it. Listen. I was more surprised by the fact that John- But why did you look at the paperwork? I, I was more surprised by the fact that John could make a phone call and Susanna could be there that quick. But she's used to him needing something. But this is, you see, it's she, one thing if John forgot his passport. You see, this is what I got to explain to people. It's one thing if John forgot something one time. <laughs> it's a whole persona. It's 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 always this way. He's always ill prepared. He goes down to the Bahamas, takes two hundred dollars with him, and what happens? They go to the gambling table. John's in the hole, six hundred bucks. <laughs> He's borrowing money from Gary. Of course. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's like it's it, like it would just it's but just. Wait a minute. Wait he a has second. No credit but wait a cards second. On him? Listen to this. He's mm-hmm. out. He brings two hundred dollars. He mm-hmm. treats Gary to dinner and Mary to dinner. Which Very nice. nice. Very nice. So God knows what money he has left. Then he goes to hit the tables. He's playing blackjack. He's losing. He's, he gets two uh, sixes. He splits, he splits sixes against a four showing on the house. Well, wouldn't you do that? Then he gets it. Uh, fine. If you have the money to back it up, when you split, you got to put up well, more money. Right. Uh. Then he gets dealt another six. He splits. And then he gets a 10. So he has to double down. So he's got four hands going. Four hands going. So no th- money. Uh. So he turns to the guy at the end of the table. No, Gary. B- b- let no, me no, no. Hold on. No. Uh. The first 25, he said, Gary, let me 25. So I had it, <laughs> which was all I had left because Mary was holding my money and she went to the bathroom. Right. So I gave him that 25. <laughs> then when it came time to double down, he needs another 25. So he's looking Who would have known? I would have had four sixes. So the guy at the end of the table gives John the 25. I have $50 on each so hand. So now he's borrowing but money from the total guy. Total strangers. Yeah, from total strangers, from the guy at the no, end of the Gary table. Gary said he That's would have, have and if he, the money. And if he loses, if Gary's got to pay. <laughs> right. Yeah. So when, when he, uh, he lost on all four hands, which was a brutal beat. Oh, my God. I lost about $200 in one hand. So then when Mary comes back from the bathroom, he says, give me 25. <laughs> Mary hands him the 25 so he can hand it to the guy at the end of the table. Yeah. Did I not pay you back? He did. He did. No, but the point is, what, who, who would have known you would have had four sixes? Who wants sixes? to be around like, your pressure of not having money? He's borrowing money. One point he why borrowed, are you gambling? At one point, he borrowed 10 bucks from some stranger, <laughs> and he only had $5. He gives him the 5 The no, guy no, no, got no, tired no, of no, waiting. No, 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 I no, gave no. him the 5 John went to the ATM. He I was, was taking, in the ATM to get more money. He, was, he went to go get more money. He was taking too long, so I gave the guy a 5 which was all That's I had. That's why I split eights. And then the guy uh, went into John's pack of cigarettes, and he took two cigarettes. He said, tell him we're even. No, I mean, it's unbelievable. Jeez. You know. Always with the money. Never I, has any. I'll tell you where John was brilliant this weekend. So, you know, it's the Bally big dinner and everything. So they bring us there. We're sitting at the table, and it's the guy that brought us down there, whose name is John, and it's the CEO of the company sitting next to Stuttering John. Stuttering John starts telling him all these goofy lies about the other guy. His, and, and it's a joke, but it's still freaking the other guy. He's like, did you know that uh, John was in rehab for cocaine? Did you know John got fired from a job from using, for using the N-word? And just going on and on. And John is sweating <laughs> profusely because he can't really oh. hear what stuttering John's saying. Right. To the CEO of the company. <laughs> it was great. It was so funny. <laughs> All I know is they went to the Bahamas, and now John is so browbeaten by Gary, he won't report back what oh. went on. No, you can say what you want. We didn't, really, see, we didn't see no... each other all day Saturday. Hmm. We didn't see each other till 
7 o'clock on Saturday. Right. I, I mean, there was we had a good time. I, I felt bad about all the breath jokes, and so I, I bought him and Mary uh, dinner. Which I said he didn't have to. He insisted. I said, it's not that big a deal. Did joke. you give him a ride down to the airport? Or you just yeah, I don't give him a ride. Yeah, yeah but right. I mean, in the car, his breath did still smell bad. But and, then, I, and then I, twice during the weekend, just told me it didn't smell anymore. Because he's taking these, like... Like a breath assure type pill yeah. for right. your stomach. And he's taking it like every 10 minutes. Oh, he's going to be addicted to breath assure. <laughs> he's putting it in. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing 500 a month. Wow. And uh, him and Mary, and I love hanging out with Mary. I mean, yeah, she's his cohort, not mine. Yeah, right. see, it, I mean, it, 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 me and Mary have this thing going. Like, she'll give me a look when she's goofing on Gary. Well, that ain't cool. No, it's funny. But, but, but dude, what is she goofing on Gary for? That's his wife. It's just. I, I, I resent her a little no, bit. No, 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 no. I've seen her do the eye roll and give <laughs> Gary a hard time. I don't like it. I don't either. <laughs> what do you think of that? But there were a couple of things where, where what they, were, they were arguing about, which we can't talk about what you, what you were arguing about. But I, why not? I, it was so enjoyable. I don't want to discuss. It's, it's, I'll tell you later, and you'll understand. There's a lot of. It was so stuff. enjoyable. It was about oh. family stuff, and Mary, and, 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 and Mary was having me rolling, and Gary, Gary we could see it was beads of sweat were rolling up. But shouldn't she be your ally, Gary? I think was, that's what I thought we agreed on when that priest was talking to us. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, he ain't paying the bills for her. And, and I did miss, Gary went on this huge slide at the Atlantis, and that's the one thing that I, I am so mad that I missed. Did you see him in his bathing suit? No. <laughs> and, and, and I went down to look for him. That was the one thing I was going to report on Gary's body. No. And I, went, I couldn't find them on the beach or the pool. I was trying to find them for like half an hour. They have this amazing slide that goes down. I know. Like, no, I've been you. to the Atlantis. But uh, can I just tell you what the lady said to me when I when I left the Atlantis? This is the best. I thought it was the most insulting thing anyone's ever said to me. No, this, little, this is good. We're huge down there in the Bahamas. The really? E-show, the E-show is huge. Right. So everybody that lives down there knows us. So we check in, and I meet this woman. She's a big fan of the show. She meets John. She's so excited. So now we're checking out. I get the same woman. So she says, did you enjoy your stay? And I said, yes, I did. She goes, you have to come back again. And when you come back, bring the teeth. And I said, what teeth? And she said, the ones you wear on television. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> I said, I got to tell you, these are them. And she got really embarrassed. She realized she said something. She goes, well, they look different on television. Oh, man. Wow. That's so funny. <laughs> Bring the teeth. <laughs> Bring the teeth. Those goofy teeth you wear on TV uh, to be funny. Uh, 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 she thinks you're Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I love that she pictures you in like a makeup chair every morning getting, getting teeth, teeth applied. Yeah, we apply teeth to him. <laughs> That's good. Well, TV adds 10 pounds to your teeth. <laughs> oh, that was the, other thing. the other thing was at the dinner, you know, I had to get up. John and I had to get up and talk. So I get up and I talk about the relationship with Bally and the show and everything. And then John gets up. Oh, you up. guys had to make speeches? Yeah, I didn't John, know that. It was like the last minute they tell And John gets up and just says five minutes of jokes about me while I'm standing there. Right. Right. Well, I, well, I told them the, uh, you know, the, the uh Gary Enema story at, at their Bally's on 50th oh. Street, which really put me. I was like, like, were I, people laughing? Yeah, I said, like who, who's here from the 50th Street Bally's? And the whole table raised their hands. I go, you know, Gary is the Enema. <laughs> I go, there's still blood on the floor. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say <laughs> that Gary took an Enema. <laughs> That's what it was like. So what did you do? Like five minutes? You just get up and say, what a nice thing Bally. No, he is? just did jokes about me. I talked about Bally. Does anybody here have ten? What do you say? Gary had this whole, it seemed like it was like a prepared, like, CEO speech. Yeah. He, like, he had, right? Got well, I, just, I just talked about that the relationship was good, that they become part of the fabric of the show because they advertise so much. And when people think about losing weight, they, you know, now they say, you know, why don't you send John to Bally's? Boy, I tell you what, I, thank God I don't have to do those things because I can't get up in front of groups and talk. I hate it. Fabric of the show, that was good. That yeah, was, I would never say fabric of the nice. show. That's yeah. not in your repertoire. This is, no, I would need prepared comments. I hate getting up in front of people and talking. I don't like to look at them. I don't want to wa look at them looking at me. I get I get like really weird about it, and I'm like, I don't want them looking at me, judging me. But see, John and I have this whole thing that we do with each other now. That I'd be like, hello, I hate all of you. Leave me the F alone. <laughs> well, it was great because Stutter and John had no idea what he was going to do. Yeah. So we, John and I have this thing. We're always like throwing little digs at each other. So John said to me before we got up there, he goes, I don't know what to do. They want me to tell some comment. I don't know what we're going to do. So, of course, I do my rap, yeah. and I get applause, and I go, now here he is, an incredibly funny man, one of the funniest guys I know, Stuttering John. Oh, that put him on the line. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I delivered. He goes, Come he on. Goes, he goes, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not he, funny. And then he was funny. <laughs> Does anybody here have $10? Well, it was funny. <laughs> but it was, <laughs> that's funny. He told 15 Gary jokes. Right. That's how much Gary makes. What would you say? Oh, wait, let me. Uh, he goes, you know, uh, if you listen to the show, Gary said that he used to do coke. You know, I heard that when you do coke, uh, you grind your teeth. What happened to Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Gary's the only guy whose tooth fairy showed up with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> right. <laughs>
<laughs> Where were you coming up with these? I, I always do these. This is Gary. his act. Oh, that's I didn't a, know that. That's, that's his act. Gary material. Oh, this is a portion of your act. Yeah, I just said a bunch of jokes for my act, and then I left. <laughs> the tooth fairy bad. showed up with a wheelbarrow? Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> John has a half an hour on Gary. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He, yeah. does rap, he does a rap about how I'm the hall monitor here, <laughs> that whenever he comes in late, I go to Howard, and then he does the voice. <laughs> Wolf? Wolf? John's late again. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's the punchline of that joke? I can't remember. I don't know. I just said a, I just said a few Gary jokes. And then I just moved on. You don't know the punchline of your own joke? That no, that is. I mean, I did. Oh, they're all together. There's a whole section of Gary, so they all flow. To I think I want to hear it. We got. I don't want to do it now. But I mean, it's it's all those jokes all together in one like stream of Gary jokes. You know what's funny? I remember <laughs> seeing him doing it in his act. I think it was about a minute long. And then the other night, it just kept going on and on. I'm going. Well, he must have put new stuff in. <laughs> he added to it. <laughs> He's got new material. Amazing. Wow. And then John leaves like his Heineken can on the podium, and the CEO comes up. He's like, who left this here? <laughs> he's like, Pig Pat, he's a riot. <laughs> but at a corporate event, you were doing cocaine jokes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and enema jokes? It's like, I've done corporate events. They shut your mic off if you say, like, crap or something. <laughs> Did you guys get hammered? Uh, you know, but, uh, Pretty good. I had about 10 or 11 beers. And we went to the... We, oh, then we capped off the evening by going to the bar to watch the Yankee game that John put $100 down on to win sixty two fifty. Oh. That they lost four to three. Yeah, they lost. Oh. Yeah, it was horrible. That was the last. So you won nothing. I, I lost. I, I think. I, I think at the total after how much I got paid, I think I'm down about two hundred dollars from the whole trip. Wow. <laughs> So you made no money. <laughs> oh, after getting paid, you're down money? Yes. No, actually, oh. I think I'm up. But, like, but uh, it, Howard, it, it, the amount of money I made this weekend, it, it was just... I you lost seen. more than 600 oh. Well, I mean, if you include taking Gary out to dinner, Wait, I, people, the, I, you know, I tipped the limo driver. Don't, oh. forget, I, don't forget the $100 for the cab because it was like thirty dollars to get to yeah, LaGuardia. Then John tipped him, and then of course they had to bring Susanna back yeah, to, to New York. To tip so what's the point of all this? Well, I, I just, mean, okay, you got to go to the Bahamas. He didn't but. expect to lose six hundred bucks. I didn't think it was going to be that bad of a. I, you know, I didn't think I was going to lose that much money. No. And he didn't expect the cab ride. You know, when yeah, he had it was to get his passport. That was extra money he didn't expect. Yeah, yeah that was a hundred bucks. Oh, I thought you guys cab. get a couple of grand for these. Appearances. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, he's exaggerating, but. He, 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 by the time he got done with his losses and stuff, he... But then it was $100 for my room, which I, you know, because I drank a lot of the... Ocean. You had to pay for your own room? No, no, no the, the, the incidentals. The, the, the room service. Bally's doesn't pick that up? No, they offered to pick that up, John. They, well, they offered you. you no, sure they offered for both. <laughs> uh, after John's speech, we decided he'll be paying for his incidentals. <laughs> <laughs> really? After the enema joke... <laughs> Man, what's the point of going if you're not going to... Well, well so, you know, that's the, the thing about he Gary. works out his life, it, it's never going to pay. But Gary yeah. loves traveling hard. Like, like no. I hate traveling. Hey, here's the deal. Gary no. loves going to places. No, the, here's the deal. They love traveling, these two. I'm doing, like, like Saturday, I'm doing a ballet gig in Philly, right? right. Probably, like, my 12th appearance for them this year. So, you know, it's good will. Don't you know why Gary loves traveling? When, when I was having troubles... Well, I don't want to get into it. I used to go to California, but I love the plane... When, it, he gets the, first of all, he goes home, he has to babysit, he has to do all the chores. He gets on a plane and goes away. He's got a free weekend. It's carefree. Of course he loves to travel. I can tell you though, I've been I really, really, really dislike the traveling now. And the other thing is I don't believe you. I do I do. Because at least you get to go on a plane and read a book and I'd relax. love to watch Gary and Mary argue over the sunglasses. That was like the best sunglasses. That was the best I fight. Did, you know what? It was cloudy all time it was cloudy all weekend. So I gave her my sunglasses. <laughs> On Saturday, I said, put these in your pocketbook, right? right. Then uh, I forget about it. She forgets it's cloudy the whole day. So now we're getting into the, the car to leave, and I'm looking for my sunglasses. And I go, you got my sunglasses? You had them in your pocketbook. No, I don't. Y you do. I do not. You always say that I give you things. I'm like, you have them. I'm telling you. I don't, they're Can't not she much. just look? She looked. She couldn't and, find they were, them. and they were in there. No, and then she looked again, and they were in there. <laughs> what does that mean? It just, you know, it's just... I'm always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you know how, like, when you watch, like, a married couple fight? You know. Yeah. Well, that's why he likes traveling. He gets to go away for the weekend, read, relax. Airports are brutal. But he was up at 8 every morning on the water slide. and <laughs> <laughs> the water slide? Out, out at the... the no, we, the first morning we got up at 8.30. At the spa, him and Mary go. They were all together. They're all, I slept till 2.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> so that's see, that's vacation to me. You sleep uh, yeah. late. Yeah. What are you up at eight thirty for the water slide? I, you know, I wasn't up for the water slide. I woke up at eight thirty. <laughs> we didn't go out till we didn't go outside till noon. <laughs> well, I would have loved to see the visual. <laughs> Gary's big teeth on that slide. <laughs> There's a job we all know and love. <laughs> water. Get him like a, like a water pig. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 That's why I can't believe I missed that. Yeah. In his trunks. You, you slept till 2.30. <laughs> yeah, I slept yeah. till 2.30. Like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Gary up there early, man, taking advantage of all the facility. <laughs> Gary got a got a massage, right? Oh, oh, they they almost tried. Oh, and then and then the other the day they charged him for seven spa treatments. Oh. So he, he was at the counter for half an hour arguing with them. <laughs> can, can I tell you a great scam, by the way? That's right after they asked him why he didn't bring his teeth. <laughs> was the same lady. Can I just tell you a funny? This is this is the greatest like massage scam ever. Yeah. So the woman's giving me a massage, right? She doesn't say anything the whole time. She starts rubbing my neck and she goes, oh, your neck is your neck is very tight. Which, of course, everybody wants to hear because your neck is tight. It's almost like- <laughs> Oh, I know. It's the biggest work, scam. You, it, that's like saying you work too hard. And yeah. everyone wants to hear that. Yeah. So well, they, everyone wants to hear something's wrong and they go, oh, I, I took a lot of- uh, Yeah. It's such crap. You know what a great rap is? I took a lot of the stress out. And Do you, uh, do you uh, use the phone a lot? Yeah, because yeah. I feel tightness on your left side. Of course, everyone uses the phone all it's day. It's like an astrologer. Right. So, so she does. She does the massage. Like a psychic. And she puts the stuff on my back. That's very good. It's like a heat, almost like a Bengay. It's an energy. It feels great. Yeah. So then she finishes the massage and she goes, "Okay, I'm going to step out. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to write you up a little thing about that stuff I put on your back. Did you like that?" I go, "Yeah, it was great." Mm. So I was like, "Okay, they're going to sell me something." She comes back with a receipt for whatever this junk is. For forty nine dollars, oh. she goes, Would you, and she's got it in her hand with the receipt. I go, that's okay, I'm not taking it. But I wonder how many people just take it. Yeah, but guy, did the stuff smell like peppermint or anything? No, no, it was just it was something. It was you know what it was Ben Gay. Right. At the end of the day, it was Ben Gay. Yeah, right. Forty nine. You're not going to put that on. No. no I, how can you get? But back that's there not what happened at, at the counter though. You, they charge you. For no, like, at the counter they accidentally charged me for seven spot treatments. <laughs> they said they had a problem down there. And My bill was like nine hundred and something. <laughs> wow. Maybe you cost extra to rub your body. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like a lot of fun. It how, was fun. How long is the flight? Well, it depends on how you take it. What? Going down there, it was. we flew to Miami, which is three hours, waited two hours in Miami, oh. and then took the 55-minute trip there, you know, to why, the uh, island. Why did they book you that way? The only other flight we could have got was the show was still on. We would have had to leave at like 9.30 yeah. in the morning. Yeah. On the way home, we got on a plane that was two hours and 45 minutes, and we got in a half an hour early. Yeah, it's beautiful. That was great. Well, we were in coach, though, you know, seats mm. are tiny. Valley <laughs> 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 flew you coach? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're big stars. <laughs> Two big. I bet that band uh, got to fly first class. <laughs> How were you gonna? Weren't you comfortable enough to work what? on your speeches? And that was the other thing I felt a little uncomfortable about. All, they had six hundred people from all over the country. Yeah. And I guess they told them that some special people were gonna be there. The people started asking us who the special uh, people were. Oh, oh my like, god! I think they were expecting like either you or Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. Or, you know, or even uh, what's that woman that took over for Rosie? Um, uh, you guys, were, yeah, you were, the, you were the guys. We were the special guests. I think they were disappointed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, when are the special guests coming out? We were hoping for Caroline Ray. Yeah. yeah they're hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> hoping for Caroline. <laughs> Gee. Open for Caroline. Well, it's hard to think of you as special when you see John borrowing 25 bucks from the guy at the end of the table so he can gamble. Excuse me, I'm but your special guest. Can I get 10 bucks? <laughs> the other observation I had is that, is that Gary is still a chocolate oh, yeah. I mean, he's supposed to be on this diet, you know, with this South Beach diet. Yeah. Right he out the had, window. He, chocolate was, he was devouring chocolate. Where I mean, was it? I mean, was it, was he buying it or was it no, just he was a buy, he, he bought a pack. <laughs> all right. All right. He, he buys two packages of, of, of peanut M&Ms. He, uh -huh. he, he, he whoops the first one down. And, like, <laughs> and he gives you uh, one to Mary. They're the, great. Yeah, but he gives the other one to Mary, but you know he's going to ask no, him for it. I didn't have any. I didn't have any. Then he buys peanut butter Twix. <laughs> oh. And he, and he reaches for he it. He needs that when he's around his family. <laughs> Peanut butter Twix. Yeah. What in the world? What is going on with you? They're very you? low on carbs. You know? Right. Uh, Jeez. They only have 12 gar carbs per bar. <laughs> wow. Excuse me, I'm one of your special guests. I just split sixes. Can I get a five? <laughs> when you're down there getting a massage, any hint of a happy ending? No, no. See, I don't get massages anymore because I feel like such a loser. I've never once had a girl say to me, you know, if you'd like, I'd finish you off. 
I was down in the Bahamas, and it was on my honeymoon. And and this, perfect. And, and this woman, she, <laughs> and they come to your room. So like her back of her hand keeps on hitting my <laughs> privates. But like, I know if I would have just said, "Hey, all right." She would have done it. I know it. And I think I was at one place where the woman said to me, you don't need a towel. And she was really hot. And she said, you don't need a towel for this massage. And But I said, well, I do. Because when I'm in my flaccid state, I'm too small. I didn't want her to see. Yeah. So you did uh, get some kind of... Uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, she just said you don't need a towel. I think you just wanted to well, see my penis. Well, I think that's the signal. And when you say, no, I want the towel, she doesn't right. go any further. Uh, well, how I, would, I, I would also say that 95% of the women who have given me a massage, you would not want a happy ending. This towel. one I wanted. It's such a rarity to get a hot masseuse. <laughs> because then Beth went and got the massage. And she was like, yeah, you don't need... Cl-. And like Beth laid down and the woman was like, putting the moves on her. Yeah. I got this friend who always gets happy endings, but then he got married. So his wife suggested that he use this certain, you know, masseuse. So he went to her and she gave him a happy ending. And when he got ho- and when he got home, he told his wife and he said, "Well, it was your idea to, for me to get this girl. Sure. It's your fault." <laughs> she could he could have said no. Yeah. Oh, I, went to, I went to a joint in Toronto where you go. There's not even a question. You go there specifically. Yeah. You see, I don't want that. You know, I want like no. You hot, want the massage therapist. Yeah. Like I've laid there and I go, oh, I'm really stressed out, and nobody responds. <laughs> but nobody t- wants to touch me, and I'm like, I'm like, you know, god damn it. I would go every day for a massage if I could have that. In Toronto, in Toronto, this Asian chick was so good at it, there was almost nothing sexual about it. And what's the big deal? It's, they're supposed to rub you and relax you. I mean, what's the big deal about rubbing that part of your body? She just, uh, after like three minutes of, you know, whatever, rubbing my back, she just went, she looked at me and she goes, nice, nice. <laughs> nice, I go, nice. I go, what? She goes, nice, nice. And I go, uh, all right, you know, yeah. <laughs> so she put, it was like a chiropractor cracking your back. Right. And she was like so good at it. Like, she had some oil. You she, were done. Yeah, it was, I was done. And, you know, before you know it, you paid $50. I mean, a, when you're you get, done, is that, are you done like they don't finish the massage, right? No, no. That's and, it. You, know, you don't want to. I was like, whatever. You know, you're like you're all embarrassed. completely relaxed. <laughs> but this place Does she hurt. clean you up and everything? <laughs> No. Did she start your she face down? It? No, you clean yourself up. Oh. Like, you did she just walk out of the room? You feel it? like you're on an assembly line. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And she was kind of cute, but a little older. Yeah. And uh, this was when I, we were doing dirty work. I was up in Toronto for two months, and this was by the hotel. So this place, the ge- geography of this place was amazing. You'd go there, you get a happy ending, and then 20 feet from this place was a place that sold a- eclairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and after, after, I would go and get this huge eclair, and I'd be walking down Young Street and Toronto. Happy as a clam. I don't think I've ever been that relaxed again in my uh, life. <laughs> Smiling like a retard. I, I had a See, I don't want. I, had I don't, a want, I don't want one of the yeah, retarded, a retarded <laughs> smile. I wouldn't want, like, I don't want to go to a, a massage place that specializes in that. Like, that's, that to me is like going to a whore. That's, I know, that's, it is. I know a guy who goes to one of those places. Mm. And they do this whole thing where they act like they're a real massage place. You see, that's what I want. I want my masseuse yeah. to like, you know. It's, she's got to act like a masseuse. Howard, first of and all. And like I want her to take her top off and go, you know what? I'm really hot in here. This is what I want. I'm laying there on the table and she goes, oh my God. It's, listen, would you think it was weird if I took off my top? And I'll go. <laughs> and then I go. <laughs> here's the script. Then I go. No, that's cool. I, I don't care. I'm like, dude, the yabos are like in my face, and she's rubbing my chest and everything, and she goes, you know what? I'm really horny. I, I need to, I just need to rub something here. I go, okay, go ahead. And then she rubs it out, and then I'm like, happy. But if uh, they're that horny, why do they have to rub? Why can't they just climb right on top of you? I don't know, because it would just be kind of ironic, you know? Like, it never happens. You don't want the whole, I mean, because I think that I feel it like a loser. be like a real massage where you start off on your face down and she yeah. rubs you and then she says, turn over. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, there it is. It's happening. Well, Jed's a millionaire. <laughs> Gary, have you ever had Can folks say, Jed, move away from there? <laughs> Gary, have you ever had a happy ending? No, but I've been to, I've uh, been to, I've gone to a, a regular massage place where the guy before me has had a happy ending. Mm. How do you know? Oh, hey, KC, you. didn't you get a gay massage once? No, it wasn't gay, but <laughs> I was an, I was an you. Is is it gay if, if you go and the only 
people that have are guys? Yeah. I can answer that. Because yeah, I, yes. I used to do that, and they only had a guy at the place down you there. You used to get male massage. And, yeah. and I said no, and then they found a girl. Wait, you used to always get from guys until we goofed on you. Back. Well, no, no. I got it from guys because the place that I used to go, they, it, was, it, was, it was only same-sex <laughs> massages. I had kind of an awkward moment. I was at a really nice hotel. It happened to be in San Francisco. but <laughs> I, I ordered a massage. And they sent up a guy. So a guy shows up at my door with like his little, oh, his table. little carrying table, you know. Nice. And we both made eye contact. And I said, I said, dude, I, I said, dude, are you going to make me say this? And he went, no. All right. And he just turned around and walked no. away. It's not happening. <laughs> Hey, Casey, did the guy do your inner thighs? Uh, no, he didn't. Oh, yeah, like, right. You, no, it, sure he did. How it, it, it was, there were times, your inner thigh? There were times that it hurt like a bastard because I guess it was like a... He's rough. No, it, it was it did my chest and it hurt like a bastard. It always hurts the first time. <laughs> I have a buddy who got a massage in his house and she didn't bring a table. She goes, lie down on the bed. And then he goes, wait a second. So he opened up some champagne? <laughs> I swear to God, this is true. What are you talking about? He opened up some champagne. And he said, hey, you want to have a drink? And then they had drinks and then she put him and, and he banged the crap out of him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantastic story. That? I got a massage as a gift from somebody from a, a reputable place. So I called the place to schedule. John's them. lost in that story. I know. He's staring He's like, at me what? like I'm a woman. What? It's amazing. If you want to get into what's really going to relax me, there you go. Well, I, I have this uh, a masseuse, Howard, who you know, I I I told you to use. She does all like uh, football players. I know her. You met, I met her. You yeah. said she doesn't do any happy ending. Though. She doesn't, but. One time she was doing a celebrity. Mm. The celebrity's family was upstairs. Yeah. And after, after she's done, the celebrity turns over and lifts his towel and goes, aren't you going to finish? Uh, uh, she's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, she, I really want to get a massage from her. But John told me that you know he, he, he uh, pitched a tent in front of her, and she said, don't worry, that's very common. Yeah. He said, it is over. common. They but say she it's didn't common. take care of it. No. no I, that, never, that I never pitch a tent because I'm like so respectful. Wait, well, how could you control it? it? I can control. I can't. Wait, I control. When they're rubbing your inner thigh, I can control. Oh, dude, it's so hard to control it. I'm thinking of everything gross. Me too. <laughs> How I'm do you guys even get massages? If this is what's going on for you, it's certainly not relaxing. There was a girl I went to high school with who was 450 pounds. I think of her all the time when I'm getting a massage. Really? <laughs> yeah, Joe, you're on the air. Hi, Howard. Hey. Hey, uh, I just wanted to tell you about my uh, my girlfriend that does this type of. Uh, massage, you know, it's advertised as sensual massage, and she rakes in a, a buttload of cash. Yeah, but she's basically saying she's, she's a whore. Do it. Yeah. No. Well, funny. no, no, no. <laughs> it's only uh, only happy endings. Oh, so but yeah. that's oh. the same deal. Dude. You said that's your girlfriend. Yeah. So he can't think of her as a whore. I guess you yeah. don't. You don't think that's a little bit weird that that's what your girlfriend does for a living. No. And you don't. Uh, she, no, not at all. What do you mean? She, you don't think she ever goes a little farther for the right amount of cash? No, I really don't believe that she does that. Yeah. All right. Can I ask Robin a question? Yes. If Mr. X went for a massage and got a happy ending, would you be really that mad at him? Like, would you, like, I'm leave sure him? I'm sure he wouldn't tell me. But if he... It, of course he wouldn't. <laughs> okay, There's but no if, idiot. It, so I wouldn't know. If you knew, is it that bad of a thing? If, if I mean, in other words, is it, is it something I should try of to negotiate with my wife? Listen to him. Listen no. to him. Dude, what are you doing Just go do there? it and don't tell anyone. Really? You can't rationalize you don't think it. I, I could do that. What woman's going to go with Why fun? do you want to tell? I'll buy you a coat. <laughs> if why do you want to tell her? You no, have like a guilt thing. No, no, no. I never had a happy ending, but I'm asking you, would, no, no, would, but would, you're, would it be I, that upsetting the, the to you? Re- no, I wouldn't know, but if he did, yes, that would upset me. Of course. So you'd leave him? Yes. Yeah. Well, just for, but it's like. Of course she would. Yeah. Every chick would Joe, leave. what's the difference between that and you go to a I bar I got friends who swear girl. that's not cheating. But what if you go to a bar and you meet a girl and she does the same thing for you? All guys. Girl, oh, yeah. Dude, let me tell you girls? something. What, when, when I was dating, it, the rules were clear that, hey, you know, I wasn't looking to get into any relationship when I first, you know, w- was divorced. So I was dating. And uh, I-, I said, you know, I'm going to see other women. As soon as the chick finds out you're seeing another woman, they break up with you. That's right. They're they not going to put up with no, that. I, I got a few friends who swear it's not cheating because it's it's like you're just getting a massage. And everything but and every part of your body is getting massage. Crazy. They're all guys. Darren, you're on the air. <laughs> Yeah, how are you doing? Hey. My friend Jazz here sitting next next to me telling me to uh, give you a call because of a situation that happened to me. It's kind of embarrassing to talk about, but I'll tell you. Uh, about a year ago, uh, my fiance set me up. Uh, she was a, a physical therapist, and I always get massages and stuff, and she gave me his name and number to a girl. who goes, she's really, really good. 
So I went down, and she wound up giving me a happy ending, and we went through the whole thing with trust a couple weeks before. We're getting serious, and she pretty much set me up, and uh, she was beautiful. I couldn't resist, and then wound up being her uh, best friend's sister. Oh, Oh. so she was checking your... um... Oh, you know what, man? Thank God you're out of that relationship. That's well, nasty. Uh, she was a beautiful girl. We went, you know, we've been through she the ups and you. downs, and you know, she, we both got caught once before, and uh, yeah. you know, she really busted me this time, and there's no mm. way getting out of it. That's so. that's that's. But that's just oh, I always used the yeah. F word. Yeah. I always went to the F yeah, word. Yeah, I know. That's really messed up, man. All right, look, I got to uh, take a I break. I one last Gary thing. I got to take right. a break. What's the last guy? You see, he always hooked me in, and I'm getting yelled at through the computer oh, here. I was just gonna, you know, oh, Gary bought a new car. Did you know that? No. Yeah. <laughs> he got a Beamer now. Is that all right? We yeah. Think about that? But he won't even park it at the airport, so we had to go to a special parking lot and take a shuttle to the airport to park his car. I don't know if that's worth it. You think that's funny? I saw Gary putting uh, a Beamer a bra and, and panties on the thing this morning. He's got those. Yeah. What? <laughs> he bought special like like things to put on the car. Put a bra and panties on the car? No, there's a, there's a, the bra. The bra goes on the bumper. Yeah, I know. And I put it on, but it keeps falling off. And I'm, I, I, I'm, Is he, Gary's struggling? I'm struggling. You get one side You know what, dude? Get a wreck of a car to drive here. If, you, if you're that worried about your Beamer. Well, no, but I mean, it's, it's Howard, it's got 110 miles on it, so I'm taking, I'm taking care of it at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Well, in this garage, you know, things can't happen. Any garage can happen. All right, got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. 